Hello, all you cargo haulers out there and flight simmers. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in Air Hauler and uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I wanted to get over here. What am I doing? Let's start out in the office page. So there we go. And so today <clears throat> we've got a little bit of things, some stuff to do. A uh, couple of things. First off, we hit our, uh, let me get over to company finance. We hit over $4 million. So uh, we are steadily climbing up there. As you can see, our cash is going up and our expenditures are staying fairly low which is what we want so there's a couple of things to start off with today uh first thing i wanted to do is open another base so let's go ahead and get that started let's go over to uh bases and where are we at here uh let's see uh come on company and faces there we go bases and I want to open a base, and it's going to be down at Stockton. Uh, we've got, uh, it's going to be 200,000. Uh, it's got uh, monthly fees of 28,000, and it's got ILS and lights. So the nice thing about this, and I'll show you what uh, I'm talking about here in a little bit, is that uh, this has commodities as well. And we're going to talk about commodities a little bit later. So let's go ahead and select this. Get this started building a base here will cost you yep 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 uh so let's click yes and we've started our new base okay so that is under construction uh it will be ready on uh let's see uh let's go down here uh 59 so 60 hours so what is that that's uh uh about two and a half days a little over yeah two and a half days so that'll be ready uh in uh what uh, a couple of days from now all right so that was one thing we wanted to do the other th the the next thing i wanted to do is if we go over to uh our company information and we go to our finance so I knew that we were going to drop down over back under 4 million, but that's okay because the last time we hit up over 3 million, we dropped back down to two and then we made it back up to 4 million. So next goal is to get up to 5 million before we make any more expansions. Uh, so I want to go to the loans and I want to make a repayment, re repay capital so we can steadily bring that down but if you look down here our, our monthly payment is 13,810 so I want to repay on capital uh, 150,000 and so that uh, we're just paying back a portion so if we make that payment uh, pay 150,000. Yep. And so that brought our monthly payment down to 11,000, which that's the whole idea. We want to keep bringing this capital down so that we're not paying that absorbent 18% on, uh, that, uh, million dollar loan really helped us. And now we want to get it paid off. So, uh, that was the other, that was the other thing I wanted to do. The other thing I wanted to do, or another main thing I wanted to do today was buy another aircraft. And I've been kind of hoping that like this beach, but it uh, uh, would be fall under 60% because that's kind of my rule, but I, I just, the aircraft just have not been coming up here like I'd like. So uh, I want to add another 207 to the fleet. And so this is over near Chicago is where this plane is at. There's Chicago right there. So if we go ahead and buy this, uh, that will be 231,000. 
we will have to configure it for uh, cargo once it gets to the uh, base. Uh, but again, that uh, 207 is a pretty good plane and I've been uh, able to do quite a few jobs with it. So let's go ahead and buy this aircraft. Uh, yes, we want to buy that and it's company. Uh, we do want the aircraft delivered and we want to have it, uh, we might as well have it delivered to, uh, let's have it delivered to Grants Pass. That'll work. There we go. Delivery to Grants Pass will take 26 hours. Not bad. That's just a little over a day. Yes. So we've got another 207 into the fleet. That's good because uh, I've been getting my pilots uh, their training. So I've got pilots that can go right into there. And so that also brings us to the other thing that we need to do. We need to hire a, another crew member. And as you know, I like to hire wannabes. Uh, we've got uh, Ellis here. Uh, if we look at his views, his skills, uh, he's got the one airmanship, which is good, and one cargo ops. So that's kind of what I like. So we've got Ellis as a possibility. And let's see, we've got uh, Christian here. Uh, let's view his skills. Looks like he's got uh, kind of the similar skills. He's got cheaper fuel prices and slot time. So. One of the things I like with the wannabes is that we're not getting a lot of uh, stars in stuff that we won't be using to speak of. So let's go ahead and let's uh, take a look at, uh, I think there was one more on here. And here in blue, I guess. And He's got about the same amount of skills. So it's just a matter of choice. And let's, uh, let's pull, a little, let's take a look at Christian. Let's, let's get Christian. He is interested in fishing and I'm interested in fishing. So he will work for us. So let's go ahead and hire this pilot. And we want him to go to Grant's Pass as well. So let's use that. And we just hired Christian. All right. So now if we come back over here to the pilots, uh, I've got Christian here. So one of the things I need him to do, which I didn't look, I had actually had already looked at these before. I knew that he didn't have any of the skills. So let's get him started doing a type rating and we're gonna put him in one of the Jabiru's, uh, which means Holly or Isla gets a promotion up. Everybody's gonna get promoted up. Uh, probably will bump Theo up to that new Cessna because he's, uh, uh, oh, I actually haven't gotten him uh, trained on that. So I'll have to do that. Uh, Jake is trained on the Cessna, so I could bump Jake up to the Cessna and then uh, bump uh, Holly is on the Cirrus. I could bump her up and then Christian will get uh, a, a Jabiru. So let's go ahead, get him started on a Jabiru. And there we go. Let's click OK. And so now he's training. So we've got him going. Uh, that way, when our planes get there, then I'll, I will also kind of work out as to who's going to do what and then uh, work, get them down to uh, Grants Pass uh, 3S8, and then we can make all the changes uh, to their new planes. Okay, let's see. Uh, so that was uh, pretty much company business uh, we've got uh, all of that taken care of so now one of the things I wanted to 
talk about today was, I think in the beginning I said I don't do much in the way of missions. But I have been finding that uh, we can do, there's supply missions that are not too bad. Uh, you got to be fairly selective. The thing about missions is you've got to be able to get the product or the commodities. And so if you look at something like tools, that's a second tier commodity and we're not going to be able to find that anywhere. Uh, if we find uh, uh, fertilizer, that's a, that's a one tier or tier one. So we would be able to find fertilizer. I happen to now courier jobs. I haven't even wanted to attempt that because I don't have a plane fast enough. My M20R is just right on the verge of being able to meet these time limits of getting started. So those would present some pretty good challenges. On top of it, they don't pay worth a damn. Look at what you're getting paid to do some of these courier jobs. So. The supply missions, though, on the other hand, if you kind of keep an eye out for them, uh, and I'll show you here in the in my ledger. Uh, let's get back over to company info. Let's go to ledger. I did one the other day. Let's get down here. Scroll down. Where is it? This one. Oh, that's household supplies. So I sold cigarettes. And actually, there's... Uh, so if we look at this, it was a commodity. I bought cigarettes at... Uh, it was at Stockton, where we're opening up the new base. And I bought the cigarettes for 61000 down here. If we go down here, uh, this is Stockton. And I paid 61000 or probably, I think, 500 I can't remember exactly, uh, or 600. Uh, and so uh, I sold them at KMER, which was, I think it was 44 nautical miles away. And so it didn't take me any time at all. So that was 61,000 that I had uh, uh, paid for it. And I made 82,000 on that. So that was uh, about 21,000, uh, $20,000 profit on not much more than an hour's worth of work and i also did household supplies uh which uh i was able to buy at Kamir, which is where i delivered the cigarettes and i was able to sell them at stockton so basically i did a a fly down and make a sale and then a fly back and made a sale so commodities actually are pretty profitable and now that I have some money that I can start dealing in them, uh, that's going to that's gonna be good. Uh, so let's get back to uh, the uh, mission that I have accepted. Uh, where are we at? Available. Accepted mission. So I accepted a mission that is close to uh, Stockton. Uh, it's a supply, uh, they want, uh, potatoes. So, uh, it is at the McClellan airfield in Sacramento. So we're here at Stockton and Sacramento's right there. So this is where the uh, mission goes. The other thing I might add on supply missions, if you're not able to complete the supply mission, there's no penalty. You don't lose any reputation. On the other hand, the courier jobs, you have to accept those. And if you don't meet those and you fail those, then that's going to affect your uh, uh, reputation. So by doing these supply runs, we're getting missions. And if we go back over here real quick, uh, let's go to info. You can see now that I am starting to get uh, uh, some rep for my missions. And so that's going to start raising our overall rep uh, because we've already maxed out our cargo. And so that will uh, help 
uh, raise this up. So if we can raise that up, that means in the future, if we want to get a loan, uh, it'll be a cheaper rate. The other thing too on supply missions, you can use your AI. You just have to manage that. You have to tell the AI to fly to whatever airport you're buying the commodity. And then you would, uh, uh, once the AI is there, you would uh, buy the commodity and load it onto their aircraft. And then from their aircraft, uh, you would tell it to fly to wherever you're going to sell the commodity. And then once it gets there, then you can go in and sell the commodity. The AI doesn't do anything on that. Uh, so it is just a matter of you having to manage that. Where with cargo runs and cargoes, you can set that up and then the AI will go and deliver and unload and load and do all of that. So uh, that's kind of the trade-off. Uh, so let's see, where was I at? So let's get back to this mission. Uh, so we want to, we need to go buy potatoes at uh, uh, some airport so that we can sell them on this mission. So if we go over under factories and construction, you'll see that there's a stock finder. So if we go to stock finder, which I happen to already have set up. So our mission is we need to deliver to, uh, potatoes to KMCC. So the tier one, you have this list of all your tier one in here. So you can select potatoes and I uh, did a find uh, and it will show distance from uh, any airport that you want to put in here. Since our uh, we have to deliver to KMCC, I put that in there and then I found the cheapest price I could to uh, purchase potatoes and be able to send those uh, fly those over to KMCC. So uh, we've got uh, Lincoln Regional, uh, which is at KLHM, which is right here. And we want to go over to uh, KMCC, which is only about 15 nautical miles away. So that will be, that'll work out pretty well because it's only $23 per potato and or per pound of potatoes and if we look at what our mission is they're going to pay us $34 so we're making close to a what uh, 11 11 dollar profit on our potatoes so uh, the other thing too I wanted to show you while we are talking about commodities and we're not going to fly one. We're just going to fly this one mission. So we'll fly up. Uh, we're only about uh, 30 miles away. So it won't take us long. I got to I got to set that flight up yet. Uh, but if we go over to uh, back over to commodities. Uh, where did it go? Stock finder. So say we want to say we want to trade in shoes which I found shoes to be kind of profitable as well on a uh, mission. Uh, let's see, shoes, shoes. So let's find shoes. And we'll use that. Uh, so if we uh, click distances. Oop, let's do this uh, differently. Get up to the top. Okay, so we opened up a base at Stockton. So they have shoes for $78. So if we click on this, <clears throat> and you'll see that there's other... So we can go and buy shoes at Stockton. And the, this shows you the other airports in the area that are buying shoes. So, or that trade in shoes, I should say. So you could buy shoes here, <clears throat> or you could buy shoes down here. Uh, so if we 
click on this Stockton does commodities and so we could find that uh, we could buy shoes at Stockton and we uh, at $78 and we could go down here to Modesto and sell them for a hundred and one that's that's not bad profit so the way you would do that is if we go into uh, if you do that from the world map or if we go over to overview and so uh, we go here and click on Stockton so this is Stockton this is uh, uh, there's jobs out of here but what we want is this tab right here on the left hand side commodity stocks so these are all the stocks that Stockton uh, deals with uh, you can see cigarettes you can see shoes right here and from what I can tell these are static prices at some point reading in the forums he's talking about making these dynamic but that was a while back and he hasn't done that yet so I don't know what the developer has plans for so this is where you would buy I could buy uh, shoes because I have an aircraft sitting here so I I would click on buy and I could buy up to 135,000 if I wanted to I wouldn't do that so uh, if you click on buy uh, you can see that shoes maximum the price and I would deliver it to if you had a base here, which we will, we could buy shoes and put store them at the base, uh, or we could just load them onto your aircraft. We're not gonna buy shoes right at the moment, so let's cancel this. But that's how you would do it. And then once you get to the airport, once you buy your shoes and you get to the airport that you wanna sell them at, uh, this sell button down here at the bottom would be active just like the buy so you would be able to then just those same screens sell it uh, and I think that's all I have on commodities uh, that's what I wanted to kind of cover if you guys have questions please leave comments I know I will try to answer them the best that I can again I always reference the forum and I reference the manual and then I uh, just start to play it around a little bit once you get some money built up, then you can kind of start to play around with some of this stuff, and it does really help. All right, so let's get back to our accepted mission. Uh, actually, let's get back to our stock finder, and I think it was KLHM. Uh, let's get back to potatoes. Potatoes from KMC. Uh and yeah it's klhm so we're going to need to fly from stockton up to klhm and let me uh do that now so if we go to company uh we go to our fleet uh and we go to here we want to fly this aircraft uh we want to fly it to K L H M uh, and we want to use that selected use selected we're not going to load anything here uh, we just need to make sure we got enough gas and we have plenty of gas actually uh, so uh, we'll just bump it up a little bit since we're done there's no reason not to I always try to keep uh, gas in the plane so let's bump that up to 300 and then that will be more than enough to do this complete mission so 300 let's go ahead and click OK and so we're going to KLHM which is uh, 61 nautical miles and it's going to be pretty much a straight shot so I'm going to accept the well I'm actually I'm going to hop over into Microsoft Simulator and get that flight set up so once I get that flight set up over there uh, I'll hop back in over here and accept this route 
So uh, once I'm ready to go, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I am in the cockpit of my trusty M20R, uh, and I believe we are all ready to fly. So let me go ahead and let's uh, start our timer here. Uh, it shouldn't take us but about 23 minutes to get up there. And so that's started. Uh, flaps are set. I've already set the elevation. We're going to climb to 2,000 feet. And uh, it shouldn't take us long to get up there. So let me go ahead and uh, get us started here. Um, I suppose I should get my joystick up here and onto the desk. Okay. All right, let's rev this thing up. Everything's ready to go. All right, take the brake off. And I didn't adjust my vision very well here, so let's see if I can keep this straight going down the runway. One thing about Stockton, it's a long runway. I think it's 10,000 foot runway. So that's that makes it really nice. So we can lift off. And let's lower the landing gear. And we should be able to click on our autopilot. There we go. Let me kind of get this straightened out a little bit here. All right. We are off and flying, and so I've done all of the uh, setups before with you, so I think at this point we are going to uh, fly up there, and once I get up to, where the hell we're going, uh, Lincoln Regional, I believe is what that is, uh, Lincoln Regional, and that will get landed, then we'll go through the uh, process of buying potatoes. So I'll see you there at Lincoln.
Well, as you can see, we are almost to our airport. Let's go ahead and put the landing gear down. And if we can uh, land this bird. Never been into this airfield before, so I don't know what the 500 runways and the taxiways are all about. It looks like everything's on our right. Slowing down a little Minimums. bit. One hundred. All right. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Oop, hang on here. Well, that wasn't too bad. Little, little shaky there at the. Get stopped here so that we can. Hit our next taxiway. All right. And I think it should be hopefully one coming up up here that we can. Uh, yeah, I see one. So we can get taxied over to parking. And then we can uh, buy our potatoes. And it looks like maybe just right up here. Maybe down over here. Uh, okay. Well, I don't see a lot. You know what we're going to do? We're just going to pull over here. It's going to stop right here. We don't need to get if. Looks like it's all kind of a long ways off. So there's no reason to keep right on taxing. Okay, let's park this. And turn our plane off. Okay. All right, I will see you back over an air hauler. And we will uh, get our commodities bought. Okay, I am back over an air hauler, so let's uh, go ahead and close this flight out. Uh, nothing to unload, so we click OK. Finish flight monitoring. Uh, we had a smooth landing. Click OK. There we go. Uh, all right, so let's go to... So to do this, we need to get back over to... Uh, our base and that's going to be in the overview map so if we go to uh, let's get up here get our airport and KLHM, that should be that one right there. So let's be okay. So now, if we go down to commodities, uh, we should be able to come down to potatoes and we need to buy it's at $23 a pound. We need to buy 
388. So let's do this. Let's go buy. Uh, let's go 388. You could buy more if you wanted to. So that's going to cost us uh, $8,900. So let's go ahead and it's going to load it onto here. If you had a base, you would be able to choose between selling it to your base or putting it in your aircraft. So let's go ahead and buy that. Commodities purchased. Okay, so we now have, uh, if we go to our aircraft, and where's my fleet? Fleet. And we come over here to the M20. You'll see that we now have uh, potatoes on board 388 okay so now let's go back to the aircraft so now for this mission we've got to fly down to McClellan which is about 15 nautical miles away so that is KCMM if I remember correctly uh, let's just double check our accepted mission KMCC all right so let's go ahead and set up our flight down to uh, KMCC. So we want to fly this aircraft self and we want to go to KMCC McClellan and we'll use selected. Uh, we don't need to worry about gas or anything. We're plenty good on that. So let's just click OK. And we can see that it's only 15 nautical miles. So I'm going to hop over in the simulator and get that flight all set up. And then once I'm ready to fly, we'll accept this route and uh, we'll uh, hop down to uh, McClellan. Okay, I am back over here in the cockpit and ready to take off. Uh, again, uh, it's just a really short flight. So uh, basically, we are just gonna get up in the air and pretty much land so let's go ahead and get this thing rolling uh, let me kind of adjust this a little bit all right rev up okay this shouldn't take but about 10 minutes uh, to get down to where we are going to to McClellan And off. Raise our gear. And let's go ahead and set our autopilot. We're only going up to fifteen hundred feet. Uh, and so if we look at our course, we are kind of pretty much be right straight down to McClellan, which is right there. Raise that flap. All right. Once I get down to McClellan, which uh, is probably it right there off in the distance, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you down there at the airport.
Okay, we are down on the ground here. And let's go ahead and get over here to park. One looks a little more straightforward. Although I don't see any aircraft, I think we can just pull right up over here. Well, I see one over there on the other side. So we cruise straight through over here. And there's the fuel truck right there. Let's just pull in right over here. And we can probably just park right in here. I don't have a whole bunch of aircraft set up so that uh, it won't affect performance. So that's why you don't see all that much aircraft here. All right, so we are here. Let's turn this thing off. And we can hop back over an air hauler. So I will see you over there. Okay, so let's do the cargo fuel loading and unloading. Uh, we're not going to unload our potatoes yet. You can see that the, it thinks that since we bought it at KLHM at what, that we want to transport it back there. But we don't want to do that. So we just leave it right there, leave it uh, loaded, click OK. Uh, we're going to finish the flight monitoring. It's going to say, yeah, there's still cargo on board. Yes, we really do want to stop flight monitoring. And finish that. Now, what we want to do is go back over to our overview map, and we want to come down here to uh, McClellan Field. So we want to click on that. So we should be at McClellan Field. We are KMCC, uh, and so we can see the commodities. Now, if I think if we come over here to our accepted mission, uh, here's our supply mission, KMCC. We have a button down here at the bottom that says supply goods, 388. So if we click supply goods, uh, we want to go 388, uh, which is the max. And if we click supply goods, Commodities supplied. Uh, he's gotten everything that he needed uh, for 34.20 per pound, uh, up to 388. So if we click OK, uh, and the contract uh, contact has enough stock of this commodity, so we're good. So we completed that. Now, if we come over here to our company information, and we come to our ledger. Uh, let's refresh this. We'll see that uh, we bought, uh, where are we at here? We bought potatoes for eight eight thousand nine twenty four, and we sold it for thirteen two sixty nine, which is uh, what about a four thousand, little over a four thousand dollar profit, uh, four thousand three hundred and forty five to be exact. So, not bad for short flight up to, uh, from uh, Stockton up to Lincoln over to McClellan. Uh, that was mostly what I wanted to cover today, and I was thinking there was something else uh, I wanted to mention. Uh, oh, so that mission, so if we come over here, we come over to our info you'll see that we got some more rep out of that. So that uh, gave us uh, uh, rep, uh, and so we continue to do some missions. Now, commodities, if you're just dealing in commodities like we talked about earlier, there's no rep. You can't get any rep from that, but you can make a lot of money on that. So that's just something to keep in mind. Let's see. Let's go take one more look here. Let's look at our finance. Uh, finance. So we dropped back down to 3.5 million. That's okay because we've added a base. We've added another aircraft. We've added a pilot today. And we've also made some money. So 
plus we paid off uh, uh, another $150,000 off of our uh, loan. So we actually did pretty good. So hopefully the next episode, we will be up over $5 million and we'll be looking at doing another expansion. So I'm going to have to look for another uh, airport to expand on. And the other thing I wanted to mention, too, was that now the other three bases that I have set up, none of them trade in commodities. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at airports and that I'm going to be doing in the future. I'm going to be looking for airports to set up on that uh, are large enough to handle larger aircraft as well as handling commodities. So let's hop back over to my office. And I think that's about going to wrap things up today. Uh, if you guys have uh, comments or questions, again, please leave them in the comments and I will do whatever, I'll do my best to answer them for you. Uh, and uh, we can kind of take it from there. Okay, all you uh, cargo haulers and flight simmers out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That will really help the channel. And uh, ring that bell. It will let you know when I am uploading new videos, and I'm doing that on a weekly basis. Okay, keep flying away out there. Keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.